How do you carry a wet painting back home? That's the question that kept coming back in my mind when I considered starting plein air painting. Plein air is the French word for outdoors. Hi, my name is Mark Jasikovic and I'm an artist. Today, I want to tell you how I carry my wet paintings back home. So there's a few ways we can go about that, but my preferred way is to bring back my wet painting in a wet painting carrier. So a wet painting carrier is essentially a box that contains rails, uh, which allows me to slide my paintings inside the rails. And these rails will keep my painting in place avoiding my painting to touch any other surface. Uh, in these boxes, these two first boxes that I built are made of wood with metal, with metal hinge. They allow me to carry four wet paintings. I built another wet painting carrier made of wood, which allow me to bring back six paintings. These three boxes that I first built were very sturdy, very solid because it's made of wood, but it appears to be way too heavy and bulky in my backpack. So I didn't like that. The last one I built before today, because that's what we're gonna do, I'm gonna build a, a, another box for you so you can see my process. Uh, the last box that I built and that I have been using this whole time is this one. So it's, a, it's uglier, <laughs> but this doesn't matter to me. Uh, it's made of plastic. I will put the exact name of that plastic on the screen. And this box allows me to bring back also uh, four paintings. It appears that this box fits perfectly in my backpack. But in order to optimize each time uh, what I carry with me uh, in my plein air paintings, uh, one of the main goal is to make my setup lighter and lighter. So this box is very nice but it's slightly too thick. Uh, and I realized that when I go plein air, I haven't got the need to, to have four panels inside my, uh, my wet painting carrier. So I thought, why not building a new box that allow me to slide two wet painting inside. So that way I can reduce the thickness of the box. So this is the box that I built today here. So it's slightly thinner, but again, in a plein air setup, in what I bring with me, every quarter of an inch matters. Um, so I also reduce the top and I use this little tape here. And as you can see here, I have two panels that slides perfectly in and out. Once they are in the rails, they won't touch any other surface. There we go. Without further ado, let's go directly into the build. So that wet painting carrier is basically a box with rails that allows me to carry two panels without scratching the paintings. The size of the box will depend on the size of my painting surface. In my case, I mostly use 9x12 panels, so I built my box slightly bigger than that. Ideally, the box will be made of one element only and folded together, but doing so is riskier. So I rather cut each element individually and glue them together. This allows me to make adjustments in order to make sure the panels slide correctly in the box. This step is crucial. You can use anything you want for the rails, but I found that these half inch by a quarter inch wood sticks work best for me. They maintain the panels correctly without damaging the painting. The rails need to be big enough to keep the painting in place, but small enough to not touch too much of the painting surface. The rails do not need to run from top to bottom. I cut mine at 10 inches. I glue first the rails on the depth side of the box, making sure the space in between the rails allows my two panels to fit in without being too tight. I keep sliding the panels to make sure the measurements are correct. When everything looks good, I glue the rails on the back side of the box. Here I'm just adding two duct tape pieces to reinforce the inside. 
I then add the front side of the box and let it dry. Adding a light weight onto it to make sure everything stays in place. Now it's time to add the bottom of the box. Once this is done, I can remove any excess plastic with my cutter. For the lid, I cut a rectangle first to make two cuts that only cut the first wall of that plastic sheet in order to fold that lid correctly. Then I'm adding some piece of that hook and loop fastener on the lid and on the box in order to keep it closed. Now I'm using duct tape to reinforce the whole box. The duct tape adds a sturdy feel to it, makes the cut edges feel cleaner and ensures a long lasting life to that wet painting carrier. And that's it. Once I'm done taping both sides and the bottom correctly, I just have to tape the lid in the back, allowing me to open it and reach easily the paintings. And just like that, the wet painting carrier is done and ready to use. Like and comment this video if it was useful. Please don't forget to share it. It might be useful to one of your friends. I hope that now you are able to build your own wet painting carrier and that you will bring it with you next time you go plein air painting.